three, two. Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Osmanagic. I am in Sardinia in Italy. Beautiful evening, even though the day was rainy almost until a couple of hours back. I am at a very intriguing place and with me is uh, our friend Marcello. Marcello, will you introduce yourself? Where do you live? I live close to Olbia, between Olbia and Arzacena in Sardinia, but I was born in Genoa. Uh, I live here uh, from uh, it's 11 years that I live in Sardinia and I am interested to the archaeological places uh, from uh, six years ago. Good. And, uh, and tell me, what is this place here? Where are we right now? We are in the oldest uh, archaeological place in Sardinia. This is Monte da Colli. It's uh, the only ziggurat in Europe. And the datation of this place is around uh, the first... Uh, the first uh, was 6,500 years ago. And uh, the second structure, the, the cover of the first structure is five sorry 4500 years ago 4500 yes the second step not bc but 4500 no bc bc before before, before christ, christ. 4500 before christ it is total 6500 yes okay this is according to some references some dating archaeological work yes the official archaeology give this datation official datation yes. all right so, what else you can tell about this structure? Why you think it is ziggurat? Yeah, this is a base pyramid, or this is a ziggurat. And there is a legend that says that um, the king of uh, oriental people came here and fell in love with a local woman. Uh, they marriage together but after some time uh, she died and he built uh, this uh, temple uh, for her and uh, the sign of love yes and the legend say that she transformed in, when she died she transformed in the moon so this uh, temple is the only ziggurat uh, dedicated to the moon all the other in the world uh, are to the sun Another also different uh, of this uh, is uh, in the reverse uh, position with respect to the other ziggurat. Okay. Besides the structure, what else do we have? Right here. A mirror, like four meters, and there are two balls uh, of stones. And what is your explanation? The explanation is that the archaeologists say that is the sun represent the sun and the moon. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now let me say a few words. Thank you. Now uh, we are at the northwestern tip of uh, Sardinia. This is the place very close to the town of Monte da Codi, Porto Torres, and uh, this is the Sassari province. Sardinia is a place with uh, amazingly a lot stone structures from prehistorical times. It is a shame how people know little about this beautiful island. Now, this site is actually like a play where the ancient builders wanted to show different shapes, different structures, different monumental and megalithic objects. Now, behind me, what we can see in the middle is the step pyramid structure. At this point, we have four steps. However, we know that ancients never built step pyramid with uh, four, six or eight steps. They always built pyramids with odd number of steps. It is either five or seven, 11, 13 and so on. Now, when we look at the structure, it's very easy to notice that we have at least two distinctive builders. The first one, more superior, the one that did the original structure, we can see huge boulders, huge stones. And the second one, 
which obviously came later as uh, probably uh, tried to either repair or reconstruct. What is the time frame? It's very hard to say. But based on the megalithic stones that have been used, and some of them are reaching five tons, I would say that the time window is five to eight thousand years, which is basically the last age of the megalithic builders in Europe. Now, let's see the size of uh, this structure. According to official uh, information, the base of the pyramid is 3750 by 30.5 meters. Now, this is obviously uh, not square, but rectangular base. And then we have four steps. And uh, when we, if you want to calculate the mass, 30.5 times 37.5 times about 15 meters that are visible above the ground, we are getting an amount of about 19,000 tons. So almost 20,000 tons was needed to build this structure. However, we have to take into consideration that below me, there are uh, many more structures, the whole underground city, and most probably the size of the pyramid when looking from the ground was much bigger than what we see now. So probably 30 to 50,000 tons. It was really a monumental task. Once we add the huge causeway, the huge plateau that leads to the pyramid, which has a measurement of um, 49 meters and about 10 meters wide, then we can realize how big this construction feat was. Now, when it comes to ziggurats, we know that they uh, have their origin back in Sumer. When building the ziggurats, they had two major construction shapes. One was spiral in fashion, spiral, getting very high. Uh, and the other one is using the straight lines. So we could step a very similar platform like this one here and very often step structure like the one that we have in the back. So basically they were combining the ziggurat type structures and the pyramid type structures in this uh, particular case, step pyramid. Now, a few words about the measurements today. Today is November, uh, November 9, 2019. Uh, we were uh, doing measurements uh, in the late afternoon. Weather was cloudy, visibility was good, temperature 18 degrees. It was windy, as you can probably hear. When it comes to the very important measurements of negative ions, uh, the measurements show that we have between 800 and 1200 negative ions. The average is about 1,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter. In the medical science, we know that uh, negative ions are very beneficial to our health. Our homes, about 50 to 100. Our contaminated cities, about 200 negative ions per cubic centimeter, but more positive than negative, which is bad to us. And the places like mountains, about 1,000. So this is something that we could expect it's a very beautiful area, it's out at open, it's nature, and then 1000 is a very good number. When it comes to positive ions, uh, it is uh, about 400 in average, meaning many more negative than positive, meaning much more negative electrical charge in the atmosphere, which is able to raise the level of oxygen in our body, more oxygen, we are more active, and to remove viruses, bacteria from our body and of course other microbes. So it is very beneficial to our health. So the values are good. They are not like in the Bosnian pyramid tunnels, 20,000, but 1,000 is a very good value. Electromagnetic radiation, uh, there are no bad electromagnetism, no EM smog, no technical radiation. Life energy measured by experimental life uh, meter is showing that comparing to the uh, regular natural places on a scale from 0 to 100, it is 10%. Here we had 40%. It's uh, 
almost alive, like a physical being. So when doing measurement on the very top, it has shown excellent value, meaning that uh, it was very good. It gives you a life energy, a prana, chi energy. So I would say a lot of ceremonies were held on the top. Not negative ceremonies, not uh, ceremonial sacrificial stuff like that. No, 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 no. We have some very good ceremonies, probably about uh, uh, some very important life procedures. No poisonous gases, magnetic field, 41 to 45 nano Tesla, which is something to be expected, nothing specially. Now, ultrasound, 50% of the time, no signal, the rest of it is 19 to 21 kilohertz, meaning no some special spikes. Infrasound, 23 to 29 decibels, meaning it is not calm. On the contrary, it, again, it shows activity. So it was very active place. Orientation is about 15, 15 degrees off. North, south, east, west, meaning probably it went either for the sun uh, during the winter solstice or either for the lunar phases. So this place was uh, having a, an astronomical orientation. So these are the major uh, measurements for the, the pyramid. And now a few words about the other uh, megaliths. Now we have very beautiful dolmen. It's a huge tabletop sitting on several support uh, stones. Officially they call it altar. Altar always tends to have people thinking about places where would they, they would sacrifice the enemy or something like that. I don't think so. What I can see it's a typical tabletop which was much bigger than the support stones. Support stones are usually vertical, tabletop, horizontal. Most probably we had three support stones there. When it comes to the measurements, measurements was done at 3.30 p.m. Temperature 18 degrees, negative ions 500, positive ions 500. So it is not something that was health related going on there. On the top maybe, but not at the tabletop. Nuclear radiation, in the first case, the radioactivity was 32 degrees, which is below the minimum allowed. But over there, near the tabletop, was only 16, meaning that uh, the tabletop, the dolmen, would calm the atmosphere, it would calm all the bad radioactivity, including underground natural radioactivity. Electromagnetic radiation, EM smog, bad uh, electromagnetism, zero, zero. Life energy, 40%. The same thing like on the top of the pyramid. So it was a very lively place, place where people would love to come. They would love to charge themselves with the good energy. Magnetic field, 45 to 52. Nano Tesla, it's a little bit more active magnetically speaking than the top of the pyramid but still within the boundaries the average range is anywhere from 20 to 70 round tesla this is exactly in the middle of this range ultrasound 9 to 18 decibels or in kilohertz 19 to 21 kilohertz something that you would expect almost anywhere on the planet but there are some spikes showing that uh, again some special activities were done there infrasound very very active spot 23 to 29 hertz as far as the uh, new energy vision camera it is showing me very light energies present is present of very good energies very positive energy so nothing bad was going on there not a word about possible sacrificing of human or even animal life the same thing on the very top of the pyramid it is very 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 light energy of course, we know that uh, water and rocks, everything remembers, everything has the memory. So the memory shows no traces of some uh, negative activities. Talking about this structure, for me, definitely, originally, it was a dolmen. 
but after thousands of years and the soil layers and of course the weather you know it's been covered by soil probably a lot of vegetation and even though it has been partially cleaned i would say that the original size was much bigger than what we can see right now now the mass of this uh, dolmen is about 8.1 tons so 8 tons somebody was able to move and to lift 8 tons and usually you need technology for that so again we are talking definitely about the megalithic civilization now also we can see two uh, stone balls one is obviously oval ball uh, they are maybe related maybe they are not related hard to say they have been moved from the original location but talking about the big one we can see some interesting features first of all the the mass of the big one is uh, four tons it's not perfectly spherical so we can we cannot call it a stone ball it is more like the oval but we can see really some of the oval uh, ball oven all uh, uh, stone objects in a country even like Mexico or Bosnia or some other places now uh, when measured with the new energy vision camera we could see a lot of red which means an energy but we can see dark red so that can be dark energy some uh, processes were probably going on there and uh, they don't have to be uh, definitely positive so I would say unlike everything else in this complex that is something that does not belong here and some other processions are going on over there and uh, finally uh, behind me we have one uh, beautiful man here one megalith now the size of the man here uh, it's almost four and a half meter in height uh, close to one meter in uh, width and the depth about 0 0.9 uh, it's uh, mass is also about eight tons eight times when it comes to a uh, new energy vision camera which is updated upgraded version of a PIP camera again very very light energies meaning it belongs to this complex so uh, in conclusion I would say this is important place because somebody it was like a school somebody was showing what type of the megalithic structures from the ancient times people were able to make and uh, so it was like a field school maybe for some others who would come here see uh, what is shown here see what kind of energies these structures can produce so I would say the northwestern tip of Sardinia is the place where whoever is researching the ancient past especially megalithic sites the pyramid sites the stone ball past the menhirs dolmens this is the place to come this is the place to learn from and uh, i'm very happy to be here so dr samus managic sardinia italy amazing place here